Cinemaster! Hi everyone, Cinemaster here with a preview of the RSI Polaris. The Polaris is a concept ship, not yet released. It is technically a corvette, but functions as a large torpedo boat to be used against capital ships and stations. It has a crew of up to 24 with 28 size 10 torpedoes, 32 size 3 missiles, and various size 4 and size 5 turrets. It also has a hangar bay and can carry 216 SCU. The torpedoes can launch from four torpedo tubes, seven to a tube, located around the bridge. There is a remote size 5 turret under the nose of, of the ship. Then there are two size 4 turrets on top of the ship at the shoulders and two size 4 on the sides, plus one size 4 turret on the back, which might be an automated anti-missile defense. The smaller size 3 missile launchers are located further back, one on top and one on the bottom. The hangar can hold most small ships. Typically, the hangar is designed for either one fighter for defense, or else a small transport to carry supplies to and from the ship. Creative pilots might be able to fit two very small ships, maybe. There is an elevator into the ship on the bottom, just before the middle, plus a docking ring, as well as a cargo hold entrance on the side of the ship. The cargo hold is in the middle of the ship, underneath the mess hall and crew quarters. The hangar is towards the rear of the ship, with an opening on top, with a ship elevator. It has a large bridge and bridge windows with a few struts, like other large RSI ships. Escape pods are near the bridge. As the Polaris is designed primarily for frontal attacks, the rear is very lightly defended by turrets, so I recommend you make sure it has fighter escort. Even the side and shoulder turrets may not reach backwards, unless they pop out like the hammerhead. So all you have is the one size 4 auto turret for aft defense. The two large shields should help against fighter attack, but medium or large bombers could be a problem for the ship. The Polaris also does not come with any small ship to fit in the hangar. By default, you'll have to buy one. The Polaris has two large shields, two medium hydrogen fuel tanks, one large quantum drive, and one large quantum fuel tank. Those smaller hydrogen fuel tanks could be an issue if the ship is flying in heavier gravity, so probably best to keep it in space, mostly. Or make sure it's in atmosphere where it can suck in more fuel. The Polaris is listed as being 155 meters long, which is smaller than an Idris, but larger than a Starfarer. The ship will have an armory, med bay, brig, cargo hold, captain's quarters with bathroom, secondary quarters for a fighter pilot, plus the regular crew quarters with two bathrooms. The large crew quantity will be needed to maintain the four torpedo tubes, man the turrets, run the armory, comms, med bay, cargo hold, and run the hangar bay, as any ships in there will need maintenance as well. There are crew quarters and life support for up to 24 crew, but you might have to do some hot bunking as there are only 12 beds for the regular crew. There is an actual torpedo launch room that is separate from the bridge, so communication will be key in a Parlaris crew when going on attack. The ship is designed to attack larger vessels with its speed, size, and frontal firepower, but may struggle against fighters. It is designed to be more agile than carriers and destroyers, so it can slip in, fire multiple torpedoes, and then get out. It's best to use it on hit-and-run attacks rather than drawn-out combat. It doesn't have strong enough shields or guns for broadside combat, or capital ship slug vests, and the torpedoes are too slow for fighters. The two large shields are good against fighters, but not large torpedoes, or big size 7 guns or above. The size 3 missiles may help clear some fighters at a distance, but won't work at close range under 2 kilometers. The size 10 torpedoes will be absolutely devastating on en against any ship it hits, and with four torpedo tubes that you can fire at the same time, even carriers will have to worry. The Polaris would work well for any org as a long-range patrol vessel, a rescue vessel, or a dedicated torpedo boat. Just make sure to have a large crew and fighter support. The ship runs for $750 and is only on limited sale, so watch for it during IAE sales for RSI ships. Hopefully your org can save up money to buy one. So that's it for the RSI Polaris. It'll be an amazing ship to see in action, and I love all the angles in the ship design. Very RSI style if you ask me. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it an upvote and subscribe to keep up with my videos. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help me out.
I also sometimes show up on Twitch when I'm not too busy. Okay, catch you all later.